Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome to another tutorial. Today we're going to be looking at making a riser synth with a lot of movement. And we're going to be making this from scratch and you guys can download it in the video description as well. And what we're going to do is we're going to make an 8 bar riser or a 4 bar riser. And when we think about movement, the important thing is really a lot of pitch movement, uh, evolving of the sound, um, high passing, reverb, we want to modulate and automate a lot of stuff. So we're going to be using Native Instruments Massive, my probably my most favorite synth, just because it's so simple, it's very limited, and it can force you to try new things. So we're going to do File New Sound. We're going to be using this wavetable, the Additive Mix 5, because it has a very vocal type of sound. We're going to bring the level, we're going to leave the level the way it is. We'll hit trigger zero reset. Depending on how you want to layer this with your sound, you might want it lower or higher, but we'll leave it as is. We'll turn on the EQ. We won't EQ just yet. Turn on some white noise. Always a tip is if you want to add a little bit of air to your synth, White noise is an excellent way to add some high end, add some little air, some sheen to your synth. But don't don't abuse it. You always want to use it in moderation, just so it just kind of kicks in, depending on the effect you want. We're going to be using the Daft. All right, so we just have a simple synth right now. Let's go ahead and make an eight bar. So we'll just use the pitch of E, okay? Rename that to riser. And a first, a few things here. Um, we're going to access the detailed settings because we want to modulate the pitch. So we're going to drag that to 12. We want a range of plus or minus 12. We're going to right click on pitch and create automation clip. So we have that little automation clip. And the idea here is I want it to go up in pitch from zero to plus one uh, full octave. Next, we have to tell Massive what the pitch bend range is. So we're going to say plus 12. Also, if we want to go down, we can do minus 12. This dictates the values, the min and max values, because if you leave this, you will get nothing. You won't get anything. So let's go ahead and leave that at 12. And now let's focus on the sound design. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring in an LFO, and I'm going to hit mono here. Go to performer and let's drag that go like that let's hear what it sounds like just without any pitch modulation so so simple right it's just going up in pitch how can we give that some flavor let's add some reverb So I have that at 21 with a size of 64. And what we're going to do is I'm going to increase this to 100% to see what does it sound like at 100% because we're going to automate this as well, macro. So macro one will control the wetness up to about there, 50%. But we'll, what we'll also do is we'll modulate this, the filter. So I'm going to go in the routing and put it here right before the master. I want this filter to basically high pass. I want it so that it goes up and high passes the sound. And that way it makes the sound thinner and will evolve the sound over time. So in order to do that, I'm going to drag that here as well. That's okay there, around 50%. So now macro one is automating high pass. It's automating the dry wet. But let's go back to the LFO5 because what I want to do is I want to put this on sync and I want to put, I think, four. Okay, and what we want to do here is I was doing this yesterday. I was doing something kind of cool. I was um, using these curves, which is right here, load curve and you can choose a curve. It's basically a sequencer, a performer. And um, 
what I was ending up doing was creating some flavor, you know, like making it go up and down in pitch as it was already modulating up to that higher octave at the end of the eight bars. And you'll get an idea what this sounds like. It kind of reminds me of Zed, um, a lot of his sounds in the past. So let's see what this sounds like. Let's do detached so that it stays on top. Ooh, that doesn't sound right. So what's going on here? Oh, here, right here. Fade, you want it on the top. So it's going up in pitch, but it's also going down minus 12. So you create a lot of movement and you can see that in the frequency at the top. It's literally making a lot of movement. Now, <clears throat> what we're gonna do now is we're gonna call this macro I'll just call this like riser. Give it a name, you know, get creative because it's gonna help you with your workflow, especially when you get a lot of automations. Um, and we're gonna modulate this as well. Keep it simple, you know, and let's see what does this sound like? And ultimately, what did we do? We have that wavetable, we're automating the reverb dry wet. Okay, we're modulating that with macro one, the high pass with macro one. And we're modulating the pitch. We dictated that it's going up one octave but also LFO five is just bouncing down. It goes, ew, do, 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 as it's climbing up the ranks. So it creates a lot of movement. And this is a bit of an unorthodox sound. I haven't really used this sound like this in my productions. Um, but again, sometimes you experiment and I was experimenting. I'm like, whoa, this sounds cool. Like it sounds dope. So let's play it back now to see what is the final uh, kind of product sound like. And you guys can build upon this, change it, randomize stuff. Fantastic. <laughs> Simple, but you can see sometimes like small moves can create a lot of movement. So I hope you guys really enjoyed this tutorial. Link to this sound is in the video description. You guys can download the FLP or just the individual preset if you guys are using Ableton or something. And uh, nonetheless, guys, if you enjoyed this video, go ahead, smash, smash that like button, show some support, show some love. Um, drop a comment, let me know what you guys wanna see in a future video. Is there a certain sound you want me to recreate? Or uh, do you guys wanna see me make something from scratch, EDM from scratch, electro, big room? Whatever it is, I love seeing suggestions for video ideas. They're great. And I'll see you guys very soon. Stay subscribed and make all kinds of gains. Take it easy.